three guys ejected and one so early on in the game. Uh, it'd have to be up there, but you guys did a good job of pumping it up and I think the players bought into that, the fans bought into that and, uh, you know, that's what happens. I think everyone's going to leave with a, with a memory of the game. Do you know what happened with the cross at the start? Well, do you know what was going on there? Yeah, I don't know. Mate, uh, forget about him. What about yourself? First quarter, you've seen him pretty well. You're pretty happy with that effort? Uh, for sure. Uh, Look, when you have a night like that, you try and capitalise on it, and uh, you know, I know it was beautiful to watch. It was a box. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> Trevor, you must be pretty happy with that as a coach. Yeah, they came out, put the foot down, and uh, didn't really take it off. Yeah, we uh, put a stamp. I think it was seven zero before uh, uh, Crossy got thrown out of there, and Jr. Didn't thank you for the four points I gave him on the foul line. But uh, then we hit another three after that, so it was a 14 zip, so it puts a pretty good stamp on the, uh, the whole game. Was the approach any different coming into this week, the build up, all the talk? Was there any, did you feel a different approach? Because it felt different at that time. Oh, uh, look, it's uh, probably got a little bit hot the last couple of days. We're trying to keep the guys uh, focused in and doing the job for four quarters, which I was pretty pleased with. Um, it was good that probably our um, JR coming in for Mick was injured and. You know, he's put pressure back on Mick now to, to step up. And as a club and as a town, what does it mean to get the last one over Cairns? Look, it's a, it's a pretty, uh, well, it's the best rivalry in the NBL. It's a um, pity that uh, hopefully something happens up north and they're still involved in it, but it's, uh, it's been good for us the last couple of years. We've had a bit of wood on them and it's always an entertaining game and it was certainly uh, fiery out there tonight. Jr. coming off the bench for the last few games to get the starting spot. <coughs> did you sort of come out with a focus that, to show Trevor that you want to keep starting? Uh, that wasn't actually my focus. I just, uh, you know, felt like this game was going to be an emotional game. They were going to come out. So uh, to try and take the wind out of their sails early, that's, that's what I was focusing on. And, you know, I've done that for quite a few years, being able to take that, you know, responsibility and come up with that. So. You know, it was great to get the opportunity to start and do that. And, you know, it's all in the history books now. Hey, so you've been around for, for a while and you've probably been on some shooting streaks before. I mean, you hit your first eight there and, and didn't look like missing. Did, how do, you, do you reckon you've gone that uh, long in a game without missing? Uh, oh, yeah, good question. Um, yeah, we scored five after the quarter. Uh, the first quarter. Yeah, the fun was out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> now, you said you were on the court when, when the Roselle um, Wayne Vale incident happened. Were you close enough to hear if there was anything said that might have sparked it? Have you seen my speed out on the court? I'm always impressed. I was lagging way behind. And actually, I was. I was down the other end and then you could sense from the crowd their reaction. And then I'd turn around and uh, it seemed like the whole stadium was involved in the incident. So what led to it, I couldn't have uh, absolutely no idea. Were you surprised the way Roselle reacted? Like, because he's usually that pretty calm sort of fellow. Yeah. Oh, well, I I don't know. I have absolutely no idea what, how the incident started, and by the time I got down there, it had dissipated pretty much. What was said between you and Cat post match? You didn't look too happy. No, no, no. That that was just some words exchanged between the two of us, and you know, no one needs to know. About that. Especially you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is there concern with what happened with Rozel that he might be uh, facing some NBL tribunal action? No, I think there's more wrestling and I think he just got uh, you know down the baseline and went quickly up the stairs and I think the box got a 
an earful too in there, so look, I didn't see anyone swing off or anything like that, so I think it'd be a pretty quick decision to make. No result. So you're confident the NBL won't, won't need to get involved uh, totally in it at all? Yeah.